surprise, this is Man One Time number five, but this is version number two. <laughs> start off with some cool or boo action. Alright, first we got SCP-173 and the reason I covered its eyes is because if you look at it, it is definitely going to kill me, so I'm just gonna give it a boo. Alright, for the first time we have a meme and this is the first one we got. <laughs> My social life in a gif. Not too bad, I guess it kind of relates, so I'm just gonna give it a cool. And finally, we have another meme, post-workout. And I guess it kind of relates. I don't know. I just can't really see what it's trying to, um, like, what's the message here? I just don't get that. The meme isn't really expressing anything, but I can kind of at least attempt to see it. So I'll just give it a meh. So for gold time, the goal is to not get a single vote against me, but that might not be, well, it could be possible, but I think I just need to stay quiet and then nobody will suspect me. And then, yeah, I'll be able to get out of here and win. I'm definitely thinking of doing gamer sub, but I just keep failing, but who knows, I might win. I have an announcement that pretty much due to, you know, stuff I'm dealing with, school, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, my animation video will be pushed back a little bit towards mid-June or something, so probably like June 21st or something like that, or maybe even July. I can't guarantee that the animation video is going to be perfect, like a special epic Academy Award, whatever, but I think it's just something fun to do to keep the channel interesting, and I think it's just better to like hype it up besides just gaming. That reminds me that next week I will be releasing another InShot lesson because I feel bad for those months that I passed by without even thinking about it, so I definitely need to get work on that. Since I saw the BattleBots from last time, it makes me pretty interested and curious about who's going to win this championship, but we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, from BattleBots, my favorite robot is Bike Force, but since they're not competing, I guess I can't use them right now. Okay, I'm gonna play a trick on this person. My favorite right now is Whiplash. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. Like, come on, I'm pretty sure you guys are laughing right now at the screen. No? Okay, you guys are probably not laughing, but yeah. Some people might ask me if I get bigger why you chose to be a G rated channel. I just personally believe that we should just be friendly. And also, I don't want to be, um, what can, I, what can I say? I want to be a good influence, pretty much, to the kids and everybody, so that's why I'm G-rated. However, my animation video that I'm coming out, I do have plans to use some sort of, like, lasers and all that kind of stuff, you know, like Star Wars themed or something. It kind of has an idea like that, similar to, like, Lightyear, so it might become PG. Eh, but I'm not too worried about it since it's just an animation. It's not like, like real or whatever. Okay, well, I just lost. All right, it's time to rank some chocolate because chocolate is literally my favorite candy or well, snack pretty much. Okay, the green one is all the candies I've never tried before. So now let's get towards the ranking. Uh, Three Musketeers, I will say that it's a perfect blend of vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate, and I actually enjoy it, and it's pretty soft, so I think it's good. I just feel like sometimes some candy bars just overpower the other in flavors, but that's pretty good. So, Baby Ruth, eh, I don't know, isn't really the hype I was expecting up for, because it feels like it just tastes like a Snickers bar, but if it was just a beginner and learning to make itself. But Hershey's is definitely 10 out of 10 perfect. That's real chocolate. And it's just, if you just eat the chocolate just regularly, just plain chocolate, it's still good. Literally can't describe it. Butterfinger is definitely also on level with Three Musketeers. It's good, but it just feels again like a beginner Snickers bar. 
but crunch isn't awesome though sometimes it's just missing that crunch like the title says it does so really i can't really put into perfect just yet but kit kat uh we all know kit kat's gonna be on the top tier since of course it tastes good and it has a good crunch also milky way is also gonna be awesome because i feel like the caramel blends well with the chocolate just sometimes the caramel gets too gooey mr good bar is also gonna be on good for the same reasons just being kind of generic Snickers and Toblerone are also masterpieces that really can't be further described. Snickers is the perfect way to do caramel, chocolate, and nuts. That's how you do it. Toblerone, I haven't tried it in like a long time, but man, that chocolate is just something legendary. It's way different and unique from Kit Kat, but still, I would agree on the same level. It's just good. Twix. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to categorize this thing. It's kind of unique in its own way, but I think it's awesome. Simply because, why is there a left and a right? You guys never should have separated. But I personally like right Twix more, but I don't know if they're the same. But still, it's just missing something from being perfect. 